So tonight I am making fajitas. We're starting out with olive oil, extra virgin. And we're gonna let that pan get really hot. Uh, we just made a recipe, a salsa recipe. We will be adding the salsa recipe to the fajitas this evening. Now with your fajitas, while this is heating up, you can top them with sour cream, with salsa, with guacamole. Uh, I don't personally put in cheese in my, gua in my fajitas, but some people do. Uh, fajitas, uh, cheese just don't go along with fajitas really. Now what I have done is I have chopped up red pepper, orange pepper, yellow pepper, and green pepper. I have parboiled two chicken thighs and two cloves of garlic and I have one onion and then I have my spices and my spices I will ginger ginger my spices you guys I will list down below oops you gotta get your pan hot when you're making fajitas hello son I'm videoing <laughs> <laughs> My son's over for dinner. So anyway, ginger, please. So anyway, you want your your oil hot. You'll see that it thins out as it gets hotter. And the first thing you really want to put into that are your onions. Hmm. That was part of my salsa. Oh, it was part of my chicken. Okay, we're going to put those in. You don't really want to put in your garlic until last because it will burn. So we're going to pull our garlic out of the chicken. Now we're going to... Yeah, that should get hot here. Come on. I'm going to pause you guys while this gets hot. Hi guys, I'm back. While I was waiting for that to fry... I cut up an avocado. Um, you want an avocado that's fresh. We're going to mash that up. Because this we're going to make a, a light guacamole. And I say light because um, I'm not going to make it a full-fledged guacamole. Just add a little bit of sour cream to that. I love the smell of frying onions. They are amazing. So to your avocado, you're going to add some salt, some pepper, and about a teaspoon, about a teaspoon of sour cream. And that will be sufficient for you to use. Where's my pepper go? She's deep, deep. Yeah. Oh. That would be sufficient for you to use as a guacamole for your fajitas. There's my pepper. Um, in if you want to make this full fledged um, guacamole, you can add. Uh, a little more sour cream than that. You could add some salsa to it if you want. Garlic, salt, pepper, onion, salt. And give it a good mix. You can also chop, finely chop um, onions if you want. You can put anything you want in guacamole pretty much. But I don't want to ruin the taste of the fajitas, so I'm going to keep this very simple. Put in a teaspoon, a dollop, <laughs> a dollop of this. See? Give it a mix.
okay some pepper we're fixing to add our you want to put your garlic in your fajitas close to the end because you don't want your garlic to burn you guys okay so with your pepper a little bit of sour cream mash up your avocado voila guacamole okay now your peppers now some people like their peppers cooked way down I actually like mine blackened um, some people don't some people like them just hot and crunchy but I like mine really really uh, dark So you're going to let your fajita, your, pepe, your bell peppers, and your onions fry down. Isn't that beautiful with all those colors, you guys? I mean, who wouldn't want that kind of color in your dinner? And how healthy is that? That is so healthy. Okay. I know, I like all these bags. These are the size tortillas that you want. You don't want the little small ones. You want the table size tortillas. Uh, they also make these uh, make great cheese crisps. So I'm going to add a little bit of salt so my peppers start to break down. Again, I'm using pink Himalayan. And we're going to add some pepper. These are outside my fajita spices. I will be listing the spices I use in my fajitas down below. In those spices, you guys, I add corn starch to give it a thickening present. Okay, are right, those fried down? I'm going to pause you. I'll see you back here in a minute. If I can see the camera. Okay, pause. Okay, guys. Sorry about the wiggly camera. If you like your vegetables hot and crunchy, at this point, and these are really, really nice and crunchy. Look at those colors, you guys. Uh, at this point here is where you would add your garlic and your chicken and your fajita spice but since my family likes them soft I'm gonna keep going and I'll be back but if you like your vegetables just hot yet crunchy and these are delicious crunchy um, stop now put in your your meat chicken steak whatever you're making and your garlic and your spice anyway I'll see you in a minute Okay guys, this is another stage. You can see the vegetables are starting to soften. This is another stage that you can add your chicken and your garlic if you want and your spices. But I'm going a little further. I like mine blackened. See you in a minute. Okay guys, can you see it? Move that camera a little bit. As you can see, these are getting much softer. Uh, these would have been done by now. Uh, I use an electrical skillet here. But to this, we're going to add our garlic. And we're going to mix that around a little bit. And we're going to let this fry down just a little bit more. Uh, they're still kind of crunchy. I'll be back. Okay, you guys. These are soft but hard so we're going to add our chicken and anytime i cook chicken and parboil chicken i always save the broth because i put broth in everything i put chicken broth in my stew my beef stew and my chili So all that was was two thighs, 
And we're going to put that in there like this. And now my mixture spices, and I will list what I put in this down below. And I always add a little bit of water so that there's a nice little broth. I'm adding a half a cup because I put in cornstarch to thicken it. If it um, isn't thicken or if it's too thick, you can always add a little more water. So you want to mix this up really good. Make sure your vegetables, your meat, and those spices are good and blended. And you want to bring this back to a fry. So while that's doing that, I'm going to get my tortilla shells ready. I'll see you guys in a minute. Looks good, right? Mmm, perfect. See you in a minute. Oh, jeez. Okay, you guys. Um, that's how it should look when it's done. I've plated myself one. I have guacamole, sour cream, our homemade salsa, and some chips. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. Ingredients will be listed down below. Remember to love yourself, because if you don't love you, ain't nobody going to love you. Enjoy.